Buongiorno a tutti! Here we are again in my little kitchen in Lecce in the south of Italy. My name is Francesco and although I have a British accent and was born in Britain, my parents are Sicilian and my first love when it comes to food is Sicilian cuisine. So today I'm going to show you how I like to make my version of the classic pasta alla norma, which is the national dish as far as pasta goes in Sicily, made with eggplant, salted ricotta, tomatoes and basil. I'm going to show you how I like to make it, which is much lighter than the traditional version where the eggplant would be deep fried. I'm going to use no oil at all. You'll be surprised and you'll be delighted. When I do cooking lessons here, people always love this dish and they write to me for months after saying they've made it again and again. I'm sure you will too. So I hope you enjoy the recipe. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below and do subscribe and come back and follow me for more. Let's cook. The first thing we're going to do is to top and tail the eggplant and then I like to cut away four slices from each quarter like so and then cut the eggplant in half if it's a small one like this and in half again and then into bite-sized pieces. This is because a lot of people like to have all of the peel on, some people like to peel the eggplant completely, this way you're somewhere in between. Place the eggplant into a bowl. Sprinkle it generously with coarse sea salt, put a plate on top and a weight if necessary and set it to one side for about 30 minutes for the salt to draw the bitterness and the moisture out of the eggplant. In the meantime, peel and crush a clove of garlic and if you like a bit of heat, add a chili pepper. I like to remove the seeds if it's quite a large one like this. Chop it coarsely and you're good to go. After about half an hour, the eggplant will have given off a lot of moisture. What we're going to do is to rinse it out under the tap, this is to get rid of all of that salt as well, and to wring it out completely. See how much moisture and bitterness is still inside? Now that the eggplant is completely dry, we can go over and put it into a frying pan with no oil. Make sure the heat is turned up high and begin the eggplant cooking with no added fat at all. There's enough moisture in there that it will begin to cook and brown all by itself with no problems. Before we forget we're going to add a good pinch of coarse sea salt into our cooking water for the pasta. Give that a stir and let it boil away. In the meantime, we're going to have a good seven or eight minutes for that eggplant to cook while the pasta comes up to temperature. You can see it's starting to brown nicely. At this point, push it to one side and add a little olive oil, which we're going to need to fry the garlic and to add the chili flakes to. Once we stir this through, you'll see that the eggplant gets well coated in oil. It all becomes nice and shiny and this is plenty of oil to give that eggplant a great flavour. I don't see the point of getting the eggplant soaked in oil and then draining it off. To me this makes much more sense. And now that we have some more moisture in the frying pan, we can add the chilli flakes. Stir these in and let them rehydrate from the moisture of the eggplant. As you can see everything is cooking along fine. You don't need any more oil. When you notice that the garlic is becoming golden and brown, it's time to remove it. It's done its job and has infused plenty of flavour into the eggplant. And at this point we can add our chopped canned tomatoes. Add some more water to rinse out the container. Then turn down the heat a little and let your sauce simmer away and begin to cook. And at this point we're going to add plenty of basil, which we're just going to tear apart with our hands and drop straight into the sauce. Don't chop the basil, it ruins the flavour. You lose a lot of essential oils into your chopping board and it does make the leaves go dark. This way makes a lot more sense. Stir it in and let the basil do its work and infuse the sauce with some great flavour. 
As far as seasoning goes, I'm just going to add some of the pasta water, which is well salted, and that's going to be plenty. There was some residual salt in the eggplant itself, and we're going to be grating the pasta with plenty of salted ricotta at the end. And of course, as soon as that water is boiling vigorously, we're going to go straight in and add our pasta, give it a stir through so that it doesn't stick, and carry on cooking our sauce down while the pasta cooks. At this point, I like to add a good pinch of sugar, which takes away the acidity of the tomato and balances all the flavors well, the bitterness of the eggplant and the heat of the chili flakes. When the pasta is three quarters cooked and still a little bit too firm, we're going to add a bit more water to our sauce and then we're going to start adding the pasta along with some residual water so that it cooks together in the sauce for the finishing remainder of the cooking time. Like so. I like to finish the majority of my pasta dishes this way. I like to finish cooking the pasta in the sauce so it absorbs all of the good flavor, gives off some of its starch which helps to thicken the sauce, and all in all, you get a much better result. Doesn't that look wonderful? Keep adding a little pasta water as necessary to cook the pasta and to keep the sauce nice and liquid, and when the pasta is al dente, you're ready to serve. And yes, every time that you toss your pasta in slow motion, it adds extra flavor. I think it's time to eat, don't you? Once you've served up your pasta, you're going to add plenty more basil, just coarsely torn apart and added on top, and a generous grating of salted ricotta. This is the real hero of the dish. Final drizzle of raw olive oil and you're ready to enjoy. Buon appetito!